Alright guys, welcome back to another video here. Um, in this video, I just want to um, show you some of the goodies that I got in. And uh, I thought it through and I decided to go with the Neptune systems for the um, controlling of my aquarium setup. And I bought a couple of modules and things that I felt uh, I would need to complete the setup. So, uh, let's start off first with the actual Neptune system itself. Uh, this is it here. This is the Neptune systems. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be the core unit that runs everything here. And they go for about, this one goes for about uh, $7.99 online. Uh, and it comes with everything. At least this one does. Uh, this is the new version and it comes with all the four probes. The ORP, pH, temperature. Um, what else is there? And there was one more, and salinity, I think that's what it was. So salinity, temperature, pH, and RP. Um, I did go ahead and purchased another pH right here. This is a double junction pH probe. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but yeah, this one here is going to be used to run the calcium reactor. So I bought one for the calcium reactor and one for the water itself. But uh, this one here, I decided to keep the ORP. So this one, uh, in order to get it working, I had to order the uh, PM1 module. And I'm gonna use this alongside the um, probe here for the calcium reactor. Uh, what else did I get? I got the, um, this is the probe holder. Now I also have another version, I think it's made by Innovative Marine. But I want to give this one a try out as well. This one holds four. Now it's going to put the, these four probes in here. And then the other one that I have, I might use it for um, uh, just to hold um, two beams uh, if I decide to dose like amino acids or other trace elements that's needed. So I got that and this here. And then I also bought um, the Apex display. This is the new one, the silver one. Uh, a lot of folks would rather use the tablet but I don't have a tablet and I actually kind of like this display here so I'm going to utilize this and if I need to I will buy a tablet um, to use as well and then this here is the dosing pump uh, I am actually the idea was to try to use this for my automatic water change so I don't know how that's going to turn out yet until I get everything connected and going I bought some tubing for the dose and I hope that that is enough to run this from my uh, garage over to the aquarium where it's going to be in the living room so I need to do some testing because it's going to go into the ceiling up and over and then down to the other side and I don't know how it's going to work yet but once I connect everything I'll give this a try and see if it works and if it doesn't I may have to go a different route but I don't want to do water changes. I would prefer to do it this way if all possible. Okay. And then of course I bought some solution here for calibration purposes. pH 4 uh, and then also I got I think I got the 7 and the 10 if I'm not mistaken. So here's a 7 here. Here's the 4. And I think this is a 10 here, the one that, that's in here. The blue one is, is for the pH 10. So I needed all these for accuracy so I can adjust those two probes. Um, the other thing I got here was the breakout. I might utilize this to trigger other events like doors or um, maybe float valves. Um, so I had bought that just in case I needed it. Uh, the other thing is the automatic fish feeding system here. I'm gonna try to get this connected and have it feed the fish once or twice a day. Although I wanna keep the nutrients low, so I may just do it once a day. Uh, I'm not sure yet until I guess this, uh, get this thing set up. But I got that. And then lastly here, I bought the WXM. This is the WXM uh, module that I'm gonna be using to control my radion lights and then also my um, MP10s. And I may upgrade those MP10s over to MP40, but 
for now um, I'm gonna try out the MP10 to see if there's enough flow if there's not then I will give the MP40 a shot although I have contemplated uh, using the ones that it's provided by um, uh, Neptune their uh, wave pump but um, I'm gonna try the Neptune first and see how that works if not I may go with um, Neptune's uh, wave pump and then also uh, I may give their core 20 a try too whenever that pump comes out right now I'm just gathering all as much as I can in terms of equipment and then uh, the next step here is to um, get a board and get everything open and mounted and try to make it as clean as possible um, and then once I get that up and going I'll probably uh, show another video of how I got everything set up and where I'm hiding all the wires the cables and the power bricks Anyhow, uh, that is it for this video. I just want to show you what I've decided to go with. I was looking at the Vertex, but I felt that that unit you know, was just that power unit you know, was just way too big, and I felt like there's not much support for that uh, unit just yet. So um, I also looked at some of the other options, um, but I felt like this was the better choice. So I decided to give this a shot here. And once I get everything set up, I'll set up another, I will do another video and get that going so I can, you know, show you how I got everything uh, connected and set up on the uh, Red Sea Reefer 250. Uh, and then uh, next video, stay tuned for that one. Uh, that one's going to be coming up shortly. That's going to be about lighting and how I'm going to light the system. So again, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, post it down below. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe and uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again on the next video. Thanks.